Good morning, I'm your best realtor. Wanna find a property in a nice industrial building for an office? I'm the one for you. This is my visit card. Call me today or call me maybe. Hello and welcome back to Paula Accent Maker, your professional accent coach. Today we are still continuing the very important topic of the business English words. If you are a business professional, you know how pronunciation matters when it comes to the international communication, for example, with your clients or with your boss. It's not even a matter of having any particular accent, it's a matter of speaking correctly, just so that you understand others and you are understood. So today I'm going to show you 16 most important and frequent words from the field of real estate. Stay with me. So we are obviously going to start from our key expression, which is, sometimes unfortunately I hear real estates, whereas we need to say real estate, real estate. We have a real and then a short a and we stress the second syllable estate, real estate. And in the American accent, it's real estate, real estate. And our second one, seemingly so easy, but so many people still say office instead of office. You have short i there, office, office. And in the American accent, it's office office. And another one. I thought it was a really banal one, super simple, super easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Up until the moment I heard some Polish people who say retail, retailing. And it's retail, retail, tail, like, like a tail, retail. And the American accent is also retail. Another basic one. It's not building, but it's building, building. You don't have E, you have E, building. In the American accent, it's building, building. And how about this one? I usually hear something like property or property. And we should say property. In the British accent, it's property. So what happens? I stress the very first syllable. It's pro. Then I don't say per, even though there is er, it's not a long er. It's p. It's a very rigid syllable. And then t. Pro, p, t. Property. And when it comes to the American accent, it's pra, per, ri. Property. Property. And let's take a look at our example sentence. We need to contact a real estate agent to find a property for our new office. We need to contact a real estate agent to find a property for our new office. In this one, it's not industrial, like industrialne, but it's industrial, industrial. You stress dust, like dust industrial and I also reduce the ending. It's industrial. In the American accent it's also industrial. Let's take a look at our example. There is a lot of dust in this industrial building. There is a lot of dust in this industrial building. And how about this one? A very similar one to the previous one. And many people say industry because it's industrial. But the thing is that we need to shift the stress. So even though it was indeed industrial, here we need to say industry, industry. So you stress the very first syllable, industry. So here I don't say dust like dust, but I reduce the syllable. So I say industry. And in the American accent, it's exactly the same. It's industry. And how about this one? 
It's a very popular one. It's a very important one also for people who work in other fields, not only real estates. It's not price rent, as I usually hear, but it's price range. There is A like in the word rain, rain, range, range, price range. And in the American accent, it's price range, it's actually exactly the same. In our example, what's the price range of these industrial lofts? Did you find this film useful? Great, but it was only less than 40% of what I've prepared for you. Would you like to get the remaining 60%? It will soon be available in my online course about pronunciation for business. Follow my Facebook, Instagram and newsletter for details about the course. Let's take your English to another level. Stay tuned. Paula Axenmaker, your professional accent coach.